Okay, so I'm here in IQ software and I've got this new profile that I named XXXXXX and just to distinguish it. <clears throat> and I've got, uh, I created five frames here and copied them, but you can see they're all only at the beginning. Now, if I really wanted to, I could go and, and do this manually and even adjust the XML, which isn't too hard. But for five frames, it isn't a problem. But if you wanted more, you'd have to adjust a lot of code or a lot of little sliders. So what I did was opened up the XML and figured out the structure. So basically, it's this. So we've got, <clears throat> I've divided it up into four parts here. And so you can see the first part of the XML and has the name here and it's just a bunch of code leading up to where the frames are inserted in. then the first middle section I call it is the first frame and it's got a little more uh, uh, values in here that we don't really care about but they're different than the rest of the frames so we do this one separately uh, but the only thing we really care about for this is the start and end times and later um, the color values and the duration will be um, variables as well to change but so this is the first frame you'll see it starts at value zero it's wrapped in this uh, tag here and then the rest of the frames have to be wrapped um, with a value according to their frame number so that's done in the code and in each of these what, what we have to be concerned about is this ID and this ID both have to be incremented and it was hard to not just get them to be like you know 660 661 and then the next one would just start 661 and then 662 so I just had to increment it within the loop but really what we care about again are the start and end times and again we'll later be able to adjust the duration and the colors and insert multiple colors per frame but for now it's just single color and then it has to uh, yeah finish the value wrap and then it this is the rest of the code it's pretty long but this is for all the other RGB you know devices or whatever that are in the val uh, profile so this is the code uh, it's it's pretty basic because honestly I've just learned Python pretty pretty recently um, it'll be on GitHub if anyone you know wants to look at it and you know change it or whatever uh, but so basically here's you know you set some values um, the IDs in the frames you don't need to change the values in the first frame but in the second frame this ID from the second frame on this ID needs to go up and so it's always starts at 660 so I've just started it there and then this is where you put the the frames per second so you know it'll be it, the duration is in milliseconds so this will be one second it'll be five frames so each will be 0 0.2 seconds and the number of frames in the whole uh, thing because you could have you know five frames per second and two seconds then you'd have 10 frames so this just calculates the the number of frames total and doesn't let you basically go over you know and so the color uh, this will be a list that you can change you know if you want to easily create a template based on two or three colors uh, you know so just have those colors automatically you'll just input them and it'll you know I'll just need to you know extend this loop but basically the beginning of this opens uh, a new file if it doesn't exist um, and then writes or overwrites the whole file since this is in write mode it overwrites the whole file with this start script or start you know function and then it changes to append mode so that way it doesn't overwrite anything it just adds everything to the end and then it opens the, f the code for the first frame changes the the time values so for five frames per second this would be zero and then this would be 0.2 and you can see then it increments the time so this goes over the whole the whole list to uh, you know fill in the frames 
Uh, so here's the the code to replace the line with the time. I'm sure there's a uh, you know more elegant way to just replace a certain part in a string or a line but this was just how I found to do it uh, so if it's got basically it's saying if it's gonna go through each line and if the line starts with time it will write the the new time values or and if it doesn't then it'll just write the line to the new file as it is and so it goes over the whole thing for the middle section and then since uh, the middle section is unchanged, what we have a second part here for the rest of the frames that for each of the remaining frames, so it's frames minus one, we um, uh, have to so we have to wrap this in that value tag according to the the, the frame number, um, and then so if it this is just a little thing because of the XML and the new line. Wouldn't uh, uh, if it the basically the first frame shouldn't input a new line because then it'll have too many returns. It's not it's super important. Uh, but then you can see uh, for basically it does the same thing. It goes through each line, and but in these rest of these frames, these two values. So it'll increment these and then add it to the global total. So it'll just for each frame, it'll just keep going and pull from that. And it does the same thing with the time, but you can see at the beginning of each frame, it actually subtracts one from time. So it basically goes back, uh, you know, if this would be from one fifth to two fifth, it starts the next one at two fifths instead of three fifths. So it would be, otherwise it would skip a frame basically. And then so it, this just uh, increments the ID value with the uh, with the new number and then the time, uh, and then this is where the the colors will be eventually. And then if it doesn't have any of those values, it'll just dump the line into the the profile, and then it just dumps the rest of the profile code as is. I thought I would have to modify some values in there, but I don't. Turns out I don't, and then it closes all the files so if I have IQ here and I have these five frames let's say if I just wanted to make it five frames per second I can just easily do this by having this set to five FPS and then hitting run and you'll see it opens shell uh, no errors which is good um, so then you can see I'll go import and I'll import the file it created and hit import and if it didn't work it would give me a little error down here but it looks like it worked so I still have five frames here but now you can see they're evenly distributed among the 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 time so I could go and animate anything you know easily first frame second frame third frame but the only thing is uh, that when you're first doing it, it never looks right. So you always, after you make some changes, like literally any change, if you want it to, to look right, you have to go to a different profile and then go back to the one you're animating so that basically all of the effects start uh, timed accordingly. And you'll see here that uh, now it looks smoother. And so, uh, you know, if I want um, a crazier thing, so, yeah, so if I want 30 FPS, uh, I write this, and then I save this, run it, no errors, means it worked, import, it wrote over the old file, remember, so open, import, no errors, 30 frames, and now each frame is exactly one thirtieth of a second and timed perfectly. And you can go and now do something pretty. Uh, cool like that. And then go, you have to go back to a different profile, click on it. And now it looks great.
So the next goal is to implement multiple colors. So if you started out with, you know, 30 frames, but uh, 30 frames of red, 30 frames of green, 30 frames of blue, or we you know whatever colors you wanted, you could easily create, uh, you know, simple animations, um, and then just change the palette and, you know, make it pretty easy to do whatever on any number of frames.